Hi Fiona, thank you for the question. Here are a couple of recommendations. First one is Saga. If you're gonna try only one thing to dip your toe in the water, this is the thing I'd recommend to anyone. It is so fantastic. The story just sweeps you along. Pause to read. I think they've released a, a version that has all the issues that are out so far. Honestly, I would just commit and buy that because once you start, you'll just wanna keep going. It's so good. More Brian K. Vaughn. This is Paper Girls. It's it's already done. The series is finished. It's basically Stranger Things, but all girls and time travel. It's incredible. This is a Brian K. Vaughn love fest. Next one is Why the Last Man. I absolutely love this series. I think it's a great introduction to the kind of serialized storytelling that comics can do. Um, it's so interesting. It's about a world where all the men have died except for this guy, this guy and his monkey. And he's traveling across the country trying to find his girlfriend. And lots of stuff happens and it's awesome. Getting a little more spooky, we have Lock and Key. There are six of these. Joe Hill is one of my favorite writers for sure and this series is excellent. If you like the Netflix show, I think it's worth just jumping in and reading all of them. Yeah, it's really good. Then a couple of standalone books that aren't part of longer series. You have The Wake with Scott Snyder. Pause to read this. Love this book. I've talked about this series as well, but these are each cool standalone stories. I really like this one. Cool crime story. And finally, we three. You ever wanted a mech version of Homeward Bound? This is the book for you. And there's so much more. There's so many great books, so many great titles, and there's so many that people recommend all the time that I've never read, that I've heard are really good. Let me know if you end up checking any of those out.